What's eating you? Psychology Eat is here to help you. What's eating you? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Well, I want to give another review of my Love Me um, hair wig. And so I curled the wig. The wig came straight, um, but I, you know, like bent the ends with my curling iron. So I just wanted to give like an update on how it looks when it's curled. Um, I like this wig because there's a lot of different ways you can wear it. Um, I pulled it up into like a bun. Um, now I've curled it. You know, you can wear it kind of back. Um, you can, you know, pull more of the hair forward. And I told you in another video, the wigs come with a lot of accessories, which are nice. Um, you get to pick um, headbands. And so you get a, you know, a nice wig bag. Um, that you need so if you you know have quite a few wigs and you don't want to use a wig um, a wig head because oftentimes we just don't have that much room if you own 10 wigs you know you got to have enough space to use these wig heads so just putting the wig gently back into um, the bag it works and then I keep the box and just you know put it in the box but these are the headbands. This is the headband that comes with it that's embedded in the um, wig. But then these are other headbands that you can use. Um, I got a smaller one that you can use, which is nice. Um, a wig cat comes with the <coughs> excuse me with the package. And then some other accessories. You know your baby hair comb um, comes in here other hair accessories that you can use you can kind of do like this with this one different stuff I think that's what that's for <laughs> um, what else is in here um, bobby pins um, a tweezer who can't use a tweezer a nice bag um, if you got a big head, they give you some extra, um, oh, I might be able to use this because it was a little, it was a little tight, but it fit. Um, what else? Oh, this beautiful Love Me clip. You could clip in your hair. You see a lot of people with hair clips now. I think they're cute. I have a bunch of them, different hair clips, but yeah, so if you're interested in a quick and they have so many different wigs to choose from but i just wanted to put that out there quick little promo now i'm not a paid pro, um, promo person but i love their wigs i love this wig i've loved other wigs i just um started really getting into wigs because i always you know, I'm natural. If you have natural hair now, you know that there are times when you take your braids out or your twist or whatever, and maybe you need to do something like film a video on your YouTube channel, and your hair is a big old afro, and so you throw two little quick braids in. You don't even need to do that. I don't even think I braided my hair under this. I didn't. But you throw two quick braids in, and you keep it moving. Throw your little wig on, put your little um, headband around it, and, and you good for the day. So, that's it. Just a quick video on the update of my Love Me hair um, unit. Um, if you want one, you should get one. I think I will try to put um, a link in my bio. But if I don't, just type in Love Me Hair and it'll take you right to their site. Thank you.
Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? If this is your first visit to my channel, please, please, please don't forget to hit the subscription bell on your way out um, of watching the video and I hope you enjoy my content. So, the subject is, and you know, the thumbnail was really just to kind of gather you all here, get you here on my page, and um, kind of find out what I'm all about. I am a psychotherapist, and, and I'm also a professor of psychology, and I'm a YouTube content creator. I have over I think almost 200 videos on my channel and I do drama tea and psychology so I'm kind of like a tea channel drama channel um, embedded in um, the content of psychology and so with that being said I travel all around these YouTube streets and I do psychological evaluations on YouTube creators, on celebrities, or just people in general that have uploaded a video onto the YouTube platform. So as I'm traveling across YouTube, I just began to think, you know, when I decided to be a YouTube content creator, I basically just followed the steps and boom, I was a content creator. I didn't have to have any background check, any experience in interviewing or um, being an editor or a producer, any, there were no requirements to become a content creator. Which is why YouTube is full of people that probably shouldn't be content creators because they don't have the right mental capacity. But YouTube allows anyone and everyone to be a YouTube creator. But I feel that YouTube should have a requirement that if the potential content creator doesn't meet these five requirements. Now, YouTube, I thought long and hard about this for you, and I did this for free. I came up with this evaluation for free, okay? If they don't, if, if, if a potential content creator does not pass these five psychological questions, they should not be allowed to be a YouTube content creator because these streets are full these YouTube streets are congested with people who probably should not be on YouTube okay here we go question number one now see YouTube before you allow someone to become a creator they got to answer these five questions now here's question number one do you hear voices? Do you hear voices? Now we all hear voices. You can hear my voice now. But do you hear voices that are only in your head? And then you answer the voices. So you might have a voice in your head says, bark like a dog. Nobody else can hear that but you. And then you just start barking like a dog. If you answered yes to that question, you cannot be a YouTube content creator. I'm sorry. All right, number two. Are you a active alcoholic or drug user? Actively in your addiction? Nope. If you answered yes, no ma'am, no sir. You are not in control of your emotions and therefore you're probably going to go on your live and act a damn fool. 
and don't nobody have time for that. So no, if you answered yes, I am an active alcoholic or drug user, no ma'am, no sir, you cannot be a YouTube content creator. Okay. Can you handle negative comments? Can you handle, because I don't care if you are talking about growing tomatoes as a content creator, you're going to have hate comments. They're going to say stuff like, your tomatoes are stupid and you so are you. You're an idiot. Can you handle that? Now, if you plan to handle negative comments by asking people to fight you or clap back and call them all out of their name, YouTube is not for you. It's not for you. Because if you're going to take every comment and blow it up, if it's negative, and make a complete fool out of yourself, YouTube is not for you. No ma'am, no sir. Number four, have you been diagnosed with a personality disorder? Now, I should have made this number one, so you didn't even go further into the evaluation. If you have been diagnosed borderline personality, Alice, personality, narcissistic, multiple personality disorder, or a psychopath, you, ma'am or sir, cannot be a YouTube creator. You just can't. You gonna cause too much shit. Number five, and this is important too. Excuse me, y'all. Number five. Are you looking to make friends on YouTube? Like, you have no friends and you want to come on YouTube to build friendships? No, ma'am. No, sir. If you answered yes to that, and you cannot be a content creator because you're in the wrong space to build friendships. You need to go to church, go to the park, uh, go on Plenty of Fish, do, do something like that. But this, this platform is not the place to make friends so if you answered yes to any of those five questions you are not eligible to be a content creator but the good news is let's say you answered yes and and automatically you get blocked youtube is like nope you can't be a part of this platform because you just, you're not ready. You can go back, reevaluate your life, do what you need to do, right? Do what you need to do. And you can come back and reapply in 90 days. You can come back and reapply in 90 days and answer the questions again. And then we'll see where you are. But until your yeses is become no's, it's a no for you for this platform. It's not for everybody. So you welcome YouTube because I did that for free. I could I could charge you, but I'm not because this is crucial to YouTube. Some people is out here walling out on their channels just because they can. Because they never had to go in any other part of their life. If they met these criteria, they wouldn't be able to move like they're moving now. You ain't going to go to no real job drunk as a skunk. If you do, you're going to be fired. You're not going to be at your real job drinking on camera. This is juice. Drinking on camera. You're not going to do it. You ain't going to be at your, your real job snorting cocaine. You go deep into YouTube, you can find all kinds of stuff. You're not going to do it. Okay? You hearing voices, you ain't going to be able to go on your job 
and hear voices and be acting all, you know, responding to internal stimuli at your job. They're going to say, take your ass home. But on YouTube, you can do that because you ain't got no boss. Ain't nobody over here, nobody over there. This is just me. Okay? If you can't handle negative, negative feedback, then th this is probably not for you. YouTube needs to give a quick evaluation to keep some of these people off of YouTube because it's not for them. And you, you, you're muddying up the place. Okay? Um, that's it. I want to make this short and sweet. If you are new to my channel, check out my other content. Um, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, make a comment. If you agree with me, and if you got to the end of this video, put in the chat, um, put in the chat, uh, yes or no, if you agree with me. Should content creators go through a psychological evaluation before they become a content creator? Yes or no? Now, mind you, if we block out some of these people, it might be get a little boring. Maybe we could put them in their own sector. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Maybe they can go into their own sector. But for right now, they they're gonna be blocked out. If 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 YouTube will take my um my recommendation seriously. And that's it. That's all. That's all I got. Please hit the subscribe button on your way out. Um, and don't forget, check out my other videos. Thank you.